why an NDA? Why should you respect an NDA as an extra? I mean, you signed it. Hi, I'm Belhika and I'm an actress in the San Francisco Bay Area and I make acting related videos that go up every Monday and Thursday at 7 a.m. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe right now and click on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, today I wanted to talk about why NDAs? Why a non-disclosure agreement? And why should you actually follow the guidelines? Well, first of all, you signed it and you agreed to it. You got cast, you're gonna be an extra, and you signed an NDA, or maybe you got a speaking role and you signed an NDA. Well, first of all, you signed it. You're legally binded to it. Usually, if you're an extra on a big TV show or film or commercial shoot, the NDA will say you're not allowed to take any pictures or videos, share it on social media, or any kind of information of the location, the time, the people that are there, because you can ruin a lot of things, including your chance of ever being on that set again. They don't want you to share this for both safety reasons and storyline reasons. It is very possible that somebody on the crew or cast can have some kind of stalker, which would make it a safety concern or maybe a another company who is this company's competitor and they maybe want to sabotage. So you never know. What you are doing is signing this piece of paper to agree to work on set and not share any of this information. Easy, right? I, I, I just don't want this video to turn into me just ranting, but let me tell you that this is a pet peeve of mine when somebody is an extra on set or somebody even is like speaking role on set and they are asked to sign this piece of paper that legally binds them not to share the information and then they go ahead and post it on social media, tag, put specifically what actors are there. It just drives me crazy because this is a real profession, you guys. This is acting is, is something people take very seriously. So even if you are taking this seriously, but you go as far as to share this information, you're being so disrespectful. And these aren't bridges that you want to burn because who knows, maybe you're on set one day and they decide, hey, let's give one of these extras one of these lines because it would make sense with the storyline or whatever. Then let's audition them. They might not audition you because one, you might not be there because you got kicked off of set and asked never to come back because you shared information and you broke this NDA. Two, you are on set, but they know that you are likely to be one of those people that have taken pictures and they've taken their phones away and, you know, deleted those photos. So if they know that you're that kind of person that's already kind of unprofessional and disrespectful in that way, they might not even give you that opportunity. So what will happen if you do break this NDA? If you sign this piece of paper that said, I won't post on social media, I won't take any pictures, I won't talk about the location, but then you go on your Instagram story and you're like, oh, I'm on set with Jennifer Lawrence and she's over there and she's in the background and we're in San Francisco and it's, oh my God, I can't believe she dies in this movie or whatever. Like you're giving away everything they said not to. The location, the people that are there, um, information about the plot, like you're ruining everything. <laughs> so if you do that, you might get kicked off set and asked to never come back and possibly not just never come back for this specific set, but for the entire company. So they might kind of like blacklist you where they never, they ask you to never work for them again. So hey, just when you get a non-disclosure agreement handed to you, go ahead and read it. And it's really not worth it to show off on your social media or whatever that you're on this set. Um, it's just not worth it. It's your job. Unless, you know, that's your goal to go on a set and just um, completely ignore the NDA. I feel like it's not worth it to show off. It's not worth it to do that and get kicked off or get sued maybe i don't know it's a non-disclosure agreement it's a legal document why would you break a legal agreement even if you have a small following i would not suggest at all to share it on your social media because say you only have 500 followers or something and a bigger company gets a hold of that information and then they distribute it and then millions of people know about it and they're gonna see that it came from you the company's gonna see that it came from you you signed an nda read it, 
follow it. Be professional. This video's feature goes to tall Asian chick. I love her content. She's super funny. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, comment if you've ever signed an NDA, and make sure to include a little film camera emoji so that I know you want to be featured. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.